Guo, Chapter 2, Broken Earth. Nine months earlier. Anna was training to be a veterinarian when the war broke out. The Germans were only 20 miles from Paris when she received a letter from her father. He was in good health, but implored her not to return home to Belgium until the war's end. Patience, however, was not one of Anna's strong suits. Give me that back, you dumb bird! That actually brings up kind of a good point. You know, during the war, when we read textbooks and stuff, we always think, oh, those Germans, those French people, whatever, right? But we always tend to think of them as one large group. But actually, inside one country, there could be, like for example, within Germany, there could be French people too. So that really makes it kind of suck. There we go. Oh! Because I guess I want to do it when the bird's on top of the balcony. There we go. Oh! It's my habit of wanting to pick up everything. Inkwell. Ballpoint pens were not developed until the 1950s to 60s. So soldiers used a quill or nib to write letters. Oh, that's my dad! See that picture of my dad? And that's my mom. Is this my house? Pretty extravagant. Letter from a Belgian civilian in Paris. Dear parents, we fled our land before the German advance to take shelter in France with the children. Fortunately, the Germans kept coming forward, and Paris is practically under siege. If Paris falls, we shall return home to... That. Your dear daughter. Mathilde? Mathilde? You're just leaving? Is this an apartment or is this whole thing our house? Is this like our maid? Hmm. I guess we're leaving. Taxes to the Marne. Parisian taxis. Taxis! Taxes! <laughs> A requisition. Are there taxis here? this somewhere. First of all though, this wheel, can we just help this guy fix his car? We need... what is that? A gigantic key? Whoa! There's a lot where these came from. The Germans at the gate! In September 1914, German advance took them within 20 miles of Paris. Taxi to Marne. General Gallieni requisitioned three, 630 Parisian taxis to transport troops rapidly to the Marne, while relatively few soldiers, while relatively few soldiers were actually transported. Oh, I see, I see. So I'm a medic. I've been training to be a doctor the whole time, right? So what's been happening is that. My dad is like, don't, don't do anything, okay? And I'm not listening to my dad. And I want to go fight in the war because I'm, I'm a medic. And I need to help somebody. There we go. Can we take this? Why do you need, wa oh, we need water or something, okay. Is there water inside here? I don't... Why are you sad? Oh! 
for a second. I thought, I thought we were gonna take her tears. Oh, what? Damn, I did a good deed. You better give me that now. Where can we get water? Not from the sewer, hopefully. Ah, okay, I see. We need the triangle key. Which one is the triangle key? This one? see a triangle key what that shape wasn't even the same that's not that's not fair whatever fix this car this taxi and let's get going. Hooray! Wow, look at all the soldiers! So that explains why- September 7th, 1914. Taxis drove all night. Anna was proud to help the soldiers reach the front line. When Anna arrived at her destination, she discovered the horrible truth with her own eyes. That's ridiculous that they had me fix the car while everyone just did nothing. <laughs> just saying. Oh no. I forgot, Anna is Belgian, from Belgium, right? So, she was living in France. Oh no. I messed it up. It worked, so we're fine. Seven months went by. Driven by compassion, Anna devoted herself, body and soul, to healing the wounded and the sick. Every life saved was another small victory over the war. The conflict, however, Raged on.
April 22nd of 1915. Everyone needs my help. Read the journal later. Oh my god. Are they gonna saw his leg off? It's pretty messed up. Tallow socks. Most effective way to beat the cold and damp. There's some water here as well. Oh my god. His arm. Oh my god. What is Oh my goodness. They treated that like it was nothing. You need water. These are basic things that we don't even need a medic to do, okay? Like, why is nobody... What? Who's over there? Hmm. Letter from a Prussian soldier. My dear daughter, we're making headway through the French countryside. The landscape is beautiful. I'd much rather be enjoying it with you than killing people. I think of you all the time. Your father, Wolfgang. Can we keep going forward or... Is that not okay? Oh no. Okay, this seems a little bit too far to be helping him get water. Maybe we should go back to the very beginning. He needs crutches. Where can we get him crutches? Does he want my cane? I can't even get him water. Like, uh, can I? Yes, we can go in here. Okay. There we go. Nurse's manual. Ah, not enough nurses, so they had to have like manuals to help volunteer non-nurse people help be medics. We need some sort of axe here. I don't know why we need to get the wood down though. Oh, we, we want to make a crutch maybe? Anyways, let's give that guy water first. There you go. Gonna do anything? Okay, I guess we should- ooh. Mess tin with holes. Both dishes of this mess tin have holes in them. Not hugely practical for eating perhaps, but life-saving for one soldier. Ah, they were wearing the bag and then the- The plate helped them block a bullet. Oh dear. Oh, what about this guy? Your arm? Can I not help him? I can't help him. Oh, here's a cross. Rest in peace, brother. Now we have a shovel. What can we do with the shovel? Honestly, the shovel, the top part, looks... Looks eerily like a crutch, doesn't it? 
Can we use this on the tree? Guess not. Where can we dig? Did, was there a place for us to dig somewhere? Lice comb. Soldiers recount losing their losing war against lice and rats in the trenches. Damn. Very rough conditions, really. Start from the very beginning, perhaps? Shrapnel shell remnants. Shell containing lead bullets. Not sure what we can use the shovel for, really. Oh, I just needed to give it to- Oh my goodness. Okay, how do I help that guy? I can pick up the saw, but I don't know, man. That seems kind of dangerous. Ah, we have the saw! We can use the saw on the tree. Ah, now we can wrap that guy's arm. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming! Stop screaming! Oh god. It's like some sort of anesthetic. Who's calling for me now? Whoa, why is someone down there? Oh, I missed it. Oh god! He had a bullet wound! And the bullet inside! You're welcome. The French officers were talking about Belgium. The German army was about to experiment with a new weapon near Ypres. Anna's hometown. Papa. Anna got en route to warn her father about the imminent danger. Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. The deadly gas was already here. Oh, goodness. Somebody over there needs medical help. Oh no! Oh, the mom is stuck up there. Oh my god. Please tell me she's alive. Oh. 
Yeah, it won't, it won't ring. Because it doesn't reach right now. We need to find the other gears. That's one gear. Oh, how come we're holding two gears? When did I grab the other gear? There is one. There's a second one. And the last one. Not there. Where is our third gear? That's right, there's a gear right there. How do we get it? Bell. That's actually quite dangerous. Maybe she should have warned people down there first. You're welcome. Oh, there's one guy there. They do that. The people in the basement didn't even do that for this guy. Damn, man. Okay. Oh, God. stick he's gonna be around here okay wait actually can we look out the window nah ah there was a door here that we could get to the other side oh my goodness oh dear oh dear Another lever without the actual pulling thing. The pulling thing is the lever, right? So, a lever without the lever. Bedpan. Latrines were generally housed outside the yard in homes of all social classes. So during the night, bedpans were used. What? They don't even want to get up to go to the washroom or something? They had a pan in their bed. That's the epitome of laziness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, a lady over there. She wants our help. She's stuck somehow. We can get up here. What the heck? How do we help her though? We can't... Hmm. We can't go up there. Oh, we can go up the, these stairs. No, we've been here earlier as well. Um, how do we go down? She's stuck there. Uh, 
And I was hoping moving these drawers over there would like help. Oh, it seems like we can't pull, we can only push. Hmm. Can we open the lock with our cane? Nope. What? Why'd it fall down? We still can't go inside. Oh. Hint, please. Wait. I want the hint. What? Okay, the, the two paintings are related. Somehow. I don't know what that object they're highlighting is, though. Okay, maybe I should go up there and whack that painting down or something. I'm sure we can interact with it some way. Hopefully. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Stereoscopic camera. It's a goddamn camera. Why do we want this? <laughs> it gave me a hint for this. Oh, wait. Wait. This is the downstairs portion. Whoa, what is this? A dungeon? No? Nope, nothing? I'm whacking every painting we come across now. Oh. Oh. 3-8 It's on the paintings. Wait, we can add, we can see the previous Oh no! I was gonna just open up that photo we had earlier. The hint, because it had the thing on it. 1-4 Should I be writing this down? I should. I think the other one was 1-6, but... Oh, there's another... 2? Two? 2-6? Two, How do we know what order, though? One, four? Three, eight. One, okay. I guess I'll just try two, four, three, no, wait. Two, six, one, four, three, eight. Two. Oh. Six. One. Wrong. Okay, so two, six, and then we'll try three. What? What? It was another three? Hmm. That's very strange. Green is correct, right? What? Wait, so 2, 1, and 2, 6 both were green. Why? So 1 is in Roman... Okay, I should write down the Roman numeral too then. 3, 8. Maybe it has to do with what's on the picture. 1, 4. So 1 is in Roman numeral. Two, six. Oh, okay, wait. Maybe it's only three digits. Like, the Roman numeral stands for the order of the digits. So, one, four means on the first slot, we put four. Two, six means on the second slot, we put six. Maybe? Let's try again. So, one, four, one, four. And then, two, six. Three, eight. There we go. Oh, <gasps> the Zeppelin. Oh, <gasps> the chlorine, chlorine gas. Oh, this is where they keep all their plans. The Germans. The formula for chlorine gas. Oh, of what happens to soldiers' lungs when they inhale chlorine gas. Chlorine gas reacts with water in the lungs to produce hydrochloric acid. 
creating horrendous burns. We have a lever. How can we get that? We can't throw this. Was there a lever that didn't have a the stick? I think there was one earlier. I don't quite remember where that was though. Somewhere on the ground floor, I think. Oh! Oh, the lady! Oh my god. Can we help her? No, we still can't get up there. We have to get the lever. Where was that lever? Is that outside? No, no, yeah, it was outside. There was a well. Yeah, here, here. Explosives! Oh no, we gotta get the lady. She's in, all, she's in danger. Get up, get up. Get up, lady. Hello, do you want... She doesn't want to go back over. See, what I thought what I thought we were gonna do originally is bomb the debris next to her on the second floor, but we can't even get... <gasps> what the hell? It couldn't get back up earlier. That was really weird. But if that works... Okay. Get the lady. Hey! Time. Come on, lady, make it, make it. You'll be okay. governess revealed to her that her father, an eminent scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron Von Dorf, who was eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron and encountered Emilia and Freddy. Ah, now they all have one common enemy.